crater. Went into gear super easily. Driving it back. Might just put it right into the auction. Use that money to buy something different. My buddy's got a 1994 uh, gear. Might just try to buy that from him. We'll see. I literally just dropped my phone out of here and drove over it. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it didn't even crack it. That is amazing. <laughs> I drove over my phone with a grater. I'm trying to text the guy who wants me to haul some hay for him as a backhaul. Wow. I was thinking about it. There's a big magnet on the back of my phone case and I drove over it with the magnet facing down. So I thought, huh, there's no way it didn't bend that. Oh, the, the back of it is pretty pushed in. Right there where the magnet is. Man, front's good. Look, there's Hank. Oh. There's Hanky. Looking like Hanky. Lock screen. Tucker. Looking like Tucker. Rush isn't cute enough yet. He hasn't earned a spot. Just kidding. He's very cute and sweet. Just an infant. Infants don't smile very well. Anyways. We're making hay. Hello everybody, welcome to Bales Hay Farm and Ranch. My name is Trevor Bales. This is our farm where we grow hay, we harvest hay, we haul hay, we store hay, we sell hay. It's all hay stuff. Before we get into it, you know what to do. Thumbs up, like and share. We gotta grow, we gotta grow, we gotta grow. If we're not growing, then we're not going. Growing is going. You know what I mean. Whatever. Also, uh, uh, topic. I've been trying to talk, uh, ev tell everyone. Uh, if you, if you, if you are feeling depressed or sad or more than just sad, right? It, there's a big difference. Uh, a friend recently uh, committed suicide, and that is not the answer. That is never the answer. So just. Man, reach out to me. I don't know what I'm going to do to help you, but I will email you back, Trevor at BalesHay.com. Uh, like that is not the answer to any of this, and and it breaks my heart to see, to know what someone is going through, that they are so deep that they think that is the answer. It is not. So today is a Friday. Oh gosh. Okay, even longer. All right. This farm is old, this feedlot is old, right? So everything out here has been, is old and like just old. So we have these feedlot pins, we have two ha uh, ha two houses, we have our, well, we tore that house down. We have our office, uh, the shop, the arena, all this stuff runs on water. We've got one big, big well, not an industrial, not, not an agriculture well, but it's a very large well. 
to uh, supply water to everything. Here is the holding tank, then it goes to through a booster pump to the pressure tank. Comes out of this pressure tank. And from here, I don't fully understand what's happening. I know this goes out to these feedlot pins because we had a broken water line yesterday and I turned it off and you can see it broke as I was doing so and it turned the water off. I don't know where this one goes. Nobody can really tell me, not even my grandpa. It's just we don't know. Now, I used to be fairly confident about there's a valve there, there's a valve right there, the handle is broke off it, and then there's another valve here. I turned all three of them yesterday and the water out there in the pins never turned off. One of these valves used to turn the water off out there. It no longer works. Water goes that way, a pipe goes this way, a pipe goes this way and then turns, and a pipe goes that way. So, what we're going to do on Sunday... Oh, that's leaking right there. And I don't think that one's working. And that one I don't think is working. Because, I, like I said, we turned all of them and the water never turned off. So Sunday, because the mornings have still been cool. They've still been in the 60s and 70s. Sunday morning, we're going to come out here with a group of guys. And with our brand new fancy backhoe, we're going to leave the ditch... We've got a special bucket on there. It's a real shallow bucket, but it's real wide. And so it's made to clean concrete ditches. We're going to leave that bucket on there. And I'm going to have Drew. He's a good operator. Just slowly skim the top of this dirt off. But we, I'm going to take, I'm going to dig all this up. All of it's coming up. And the goal will be, because this, this is broke right here. I mean, it still works, but it's broke. I'm not. I'm not 100% with the, with, sure what the goal is going to be, right? And even getting this into there, uh, the booster pump. The goal is to have a, a nice manifold. Build a manifold with with valves that are above the ground, and then we'll build a shade over the top of this. Keep the sun off the off the pressure pump, uh, the compressor. Pressure pump. <laughs> keep the keep keep the sun off the compressor. Keep the sun off the booster pump keep the sun off the valves get the valves out of the dirt i mean freezing's not really an issue here they're big enough pipe what are those two inch i guess um i don't we, we'll insulate it or whatever we need to do but it's a long time coming nobody knows what is happening under here anytime something breaks we just dig up right where we need to fix it's time to dig it all up and do it right Unfortunately, I'm the one that gets to do it. <laughs> oh, Sunday's going to suck. I hate doing things on Sunday because Sunday's church day. But it's the only day we're closed. And it's the only day I have five employees not doing anything. Uh, and I'm going to need I'm gonna need all hands because there's going to be a lot of shoveling. There's going to be a lot of pipe cutting and a lot of pipe doping. And I want to have... I don't want to kill two people. I would rather have five or six guys out here and and then nobody's worn out at the end of the day so yeah but i think i might come over with the with the backhoe today and just start pulling dirt away pulling dirt away if i've got some time i need to do a little work at my house with the backhoe as well just getting the backyard looking good so i don't know but i'm not excited about this you guys get to see us suffer out here I hate plumbing. I hate it. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hey everybody, it's me, Performance Bales, the cool brother, Trevor Sucks. And if you're like Trevor and you have performance problems with your diesel motors, call PDI, Performance Diesel Incorporated. They will take care of all your performance diesel needs. And you will be awesome like me, Performance Bales. Not like that loser, Trevor Bales, because he's a loser. PDI. I don't know what to do about this grader situation. Um, those early John Deere's had a, their four wheel drive wasn't a true four wheel drive. It was more like a, uh, a hydraulic pump that assisted, I guess. And there's a bunch of, a bunch of 
uh, wear plates in there and what can happen on the front when you're using four wheel drive, they can wear differently and one side can end up spinning faster than the other. Uh, clutches, wear plates, clutches, I don't know. I'm not, this is what somebody, a professional told me. So I don't know, it's like, do you, do you buy it? And I know I'm not gonna use it as much as a construction company. So maybe it works just fine for me for 10 years. But then again, and, there, and there's all these hydraulic hoses going up there because it's hydraulically driven. There can be a lot of leaks. And so am I asking for more headaches? Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm kind of thinking that's 45,000, like buy it, try it, get five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years out of it. Maybe we really like it. Everything works out great. If we don't like it, always just sell it um, kind of the old thought old school you buy something you're stuck with it forever not really um, so that's kind of what I'm leaning just buy it run it for a while and if things start going south upgrade that's it for today's show hope you guys enjoyed it thumbs up like share comment all those things we gotta grow we gotta grow Whew. I'll show you the project in the next video. Got a big water project I am not excited about. See you soon.